all right welcome back to my channel I'm glad you could join me and what I'm gonna do now is show you how I'm gonna do up this uh, deer heart from the deer that I got over opening weekend a couple days ago I'm gonna do it like my mom used to make the her liver and onions along with the heart because I didn't really care for the liver still don't but all you need is pretty straightforward ingredients is flour, obviously the heart, onions, a little bit of olive oil, and I'm going to put some butter into it and salt and pepper for seasoning. But I'm thinking I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in mixed in with it. I'm going to season the, the heart with the, the garlic powder, then dip it into the, to the flour. And you're going to need some coffee yeah, to drink. I love coffee. Oh, yeah, I could drink this all day long. Stick around, I'm going to be cutting it up and frying it up. All right, what you want to do is take the heart. It's been soaking for a few days, so most of the blood is out of it. What you want to do is just take your knife, trim off the, the fat, because that's not, that's going to leave a, it's not very good tasting. You're not going to get all of it, but try to do your best to get most of it. You know what I like to do is just go ahead and cut straight down. Discard. Well, actually, you could probably take some of this right here. Cut that off. And it looks like a good piece of meat right there. All right, next you wanna take the excess and just discard it onto a, a paper towel. And just go ahead and slice away. Like I said, about 3 eighths of an inch thick. Yeah, like I said in the video the other day, is that I could never acquire a taste for liver. Why? I don't know. I thought maybe as I got older, I would have been able to like it. And I thought my palate would change as far as... <laughs> My taste buds, you know, but it didn't. All right, that's all cut up. What I'm going to do next is put it in a, a container just to sit there while I cut the onion. Then I'm going to get some garlic powder and season it a little bit and we'll be on our way as far as starting the cooking process all right now for the onion i'm gonna slice that up not as thick as the the heart Next, take a sip of coffee. All right, like I said, not real thick, just enough where they're gonna cook down to be nice and transparent or even just short of being caramelized. Can I get one more slice out of there? <laughs> yeah. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of flour. Not a whole lot, I'm not gonna waste any. You know, just enough to coat the 
the heart slices. All right, now I'm going to season some of these. Not a lot. All right. I got seasoned what I want seasoned, so I'm going to go ahead and put some olive oil into the frying pan. A good amount. I'm going to take some butter. All right, the butter's melted. What I'm going to do now is take some of the, the onions. Drop them right on in there. I don't have the burner too high. I don't want it, this oil and butter to burn. I just want to hold off a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take the, the slices of heart. Dip them in the flour. Actually, I'm going to set it aside a little bit, do a couple at a time. I don't want one to be done sooner than the other. I'm not going to double dip these or anything like that. This is the way my mom used to do it, so this is the process that I'm going to use. Oh, a little straggler there. All right, I'm just going to take this to the frying pan and lay them in there. Ooh, that hurt. That burnt. Oh, man, that's hot. Woo-wee! <laughs> you know, it's a little bit difficult filming this stuff on your own. By yourself without anybody else been doing it for a while now and and my son helped me a little bit two weeks ago filming <sighs> yeah <laughs> helps to have a second guy all right now i'm going to flip them a little bit I go until, like anything else, like chicken or something like that, to where the juices stop flowing out of them. In this case, like the, the very little blood that's left, let that come seeping through a little bit. See how this one is right here? I'm going to go a little bit longer, the darkness of it, I'm going to go just a little bit longer than that yet on all of these, then I think it'll be doing all right. Onions are looking good. That one's going to look good. It's going to taste good, too. I believe that is done. I'm going to dish it on the plate here quick. Look how kind of round a little bit. You don't want to overcook it, otherwise it's going to end up like shoe leather. Let's put this on the plate. And that's, I have heart and onions now. Actually, it kind of looks like donuts. Well, it's all done. The way my mom used to do it. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. I appreciate all your cooking. Thank you. And giving me insight on how to cook. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really, really like it, consider subscribing. I have some other cooking videos on my channel. I have smoking goose breast, ribs, and I have 
frying some fish, I believe. So check those out. And when you hit that subscribe button, there's going to be three notification bells. Hit that top one. This is all for more videos that I put out. I'm going to dig in right now. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Hold on a minute. This is what you want. It's cooked. Well, didn't focus, but here I go. That's so good. I believe that no matter what, if it's cow heart, chicken heart, turkey, deer heart, they all taste the same, to be honest with you. With this deer heart, there's no gamey flavor to it. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I shouldn't have salt. It's just a little sprinkle. But there is absolutely no gaminess. In my my opinion. I don't know what I don't know what you might have or try, but I really like this a lot. Oh. You have to try this. I'm serious. You may want to go a little bit longer. Like I said, you want to go too long and cook it, overcook it to the point where it's shoe leather. You can't chew it, but oh. make the outside maybe a little bit crispier. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sitting here eating in front of you. Your mouth is probably watering or you're probably sitting at work watching this and you're I apologize <laughs> thumbs up two thumbs up not to brag or boast but get outside learn to hunt fish trap you'll enjoy the outdoors forage um Look for mushrooms, wild onions, ramp. I have videos of that, too. Um, nature has so many things out there to eat. It's unbelievable. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. It's like nature's grocery store. So I'm going to continue to eat this, enjoy it. And you enjoy the little things.